So let's talk architecture diagrams. Super important as you are beginning your AWS journey, but something that can be very confusing as you're just starting out. I like to think of them like circuit boards. If you don't know what you're looking at, it looks very difficult, but once you understand it, things make a lot more sense. Here we have an architecture diagram talking about how you can upload an image with text and have that text translated and created into an audio file so that you can use it in your front end application. Very cool, but it uses a bunch of different parts. Let's break it down. Here we have a user. This user has a mobile phone somewhere where they're going to be uploading this image with text. Through the use of the AWS SDKs, we're going to get in contact with this front end hosted application. Okay, so we're on our mobile phone. We're going to a website. That website is hosted on AWS Amplify. Presumably you have to authenticate to get into this website. This is going to be done with Amazon Cognito. And then in terms of uploading and viewing that audio file and that image, this is going to be using Amazon S3. Now, in order to get in contact with this backend process that is going to be doing this, we have Amazon API Gateway. Simple API, but the key point here is that orchestration is separate from our implementation detail. So how we're putting all this together is different from the code behind the scenes. This is important because when it comes down to API Gateway talking to these step functions, we don't know how it's doing so. We don't know if it's a Lambda function that is being called as an API or a direct integration with API Gateway talking directly to step functions. Doesn't matter because we don't know if that language that you prefer is going to be Python, JavaScript, Go, or many of the other ways that you can contact this backend service. So we have the step function workflow. It's going to use Amazon Textract to grab the text from that image. Then it is going to be using Comprehend to say what language is inside of this text. If that language is different from the language that the user said that they prefer, then we're going to translate it. If not, we'll skip to something else. After that, we have Amazon Pollock. This is going to take that text, turn it into an MP3 file before finally storing it in Amazon S3. The last step in here is to go ahead and send that response back to API Gateway. Since you made the request, here's the response. So that a user gave you an image with text and what is given back to you is going to be this MP3 file. Super, super powerful. But again, you first want to start off with an architecture diagram to get an idea of how you're going to be piecing this together or to get a lay of the land in case you're following a blog post or some kind of tutorial. Hope this has been super helpful. If you like this breakdown of architecture diagrams, go ahead and give me a follow and subscribe. My name is Focus Outer Everywhere, and I'll check you all later. Peace.